Okay, quick one today. It's not the only thing I'm working on today, but I realized that uh, you know, today is Monday, and Saturday we're going to the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul, Illinois, and I need something to put this water cooler in, so that'd be that'd be handy. I'm working with whatever stock I've got right now. I've got the uh, two inch by eighth inch or so, and I needed a little more than I had, so I had to weld some together. And you can see the not very great weld. You can tell me to wrap my corners, and I ground it down so it'll fit through my. Now, to be perfectly clear, when I say ring roller, I mean these three bolts that I just welded together with no prep and no cleaning. And if I got you close, you could see lots of good porosity and paint that I didn't take off. And that's fine. You don't need to worry about that. That's what we do around here. So I've cut this to, or I've, I've welded this to 43 inches, which is about the circumference of that water cooler. I'm just going to start bending until it looks like a circle. Ooh. I'm going to start moving the vise until it looks like a circle. All right, a little bit of tweaking before I weld it together. That looks approximately like kind of a circle. And fits the water cooler pretty nicely. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to cut that off square. And hmm, how do I go about that? I can I might be able to tweak it back into the square. Let's try and do that. Don't melt don't melt my cord. No. No. Keep like green. Lining up already square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's tack that together and see how flat it's not. Now I do want this to actually look not terrible, so I have abrasively removed the natural farm raised passivization layer. Protective, you know, protects the steel. I like to put that on all the stuff, you know. Just <coughs> let that hang out a while and that will naturally form. This thing out of this stuff, got a screen protector on. Alright, that's pretty much good enough. Give it a tack and tack. The other side. Yeah, 
yeah, look at that porosity. Perfect. Not hateful. You're not gonna. You're not gonna see this on the side of the water cooler. So I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna send it. Hopefully, I can get rid of some of that porosity. I don't want any of that garbage. Give me some gloves, though. No beef is not hit. Yeah, hold up, there it is. She's got Okay, next thing's next is to figure out the bottom, which I'm doing this live and didn't buy a single piece of material with this specifically in mind, so very much making this up as I go, but that's okay. Uh, I had some angle. Is that? No, uh, that's round. Rebar. No. No, because. Yeah, no, not rebar. Um, hmm. We'll come back to that. Maybe rebar. Thought angle though. I think that should be on the direction I'm going to hang it from. Help give it some support. I think rebar would, or not rebar, angle. I think angle would probably be the right idea. If a I guess I'm going to have to start cutting. Okay, time for a new danger disc, which... Helpful hint, fellers, by the way. Zip tie your... Okay. Zip tie your little spanner wrench here to the cord so you don't freaking lose it. And you got it right there handy, ready to go every time. Nowhere near the trash can. Alright, I figure the ring diameter I ended up with was 14 inches, which by the way, measured that, and I got everywhere from 13 and 3 quarter, maybe 13 and a half to 14, so I mean a half inch a total out around with the setup that I used. You gotta admit, that's pretty good. Go for about 14. Top secret passivization, homegrown passivization layer off of here. And I got a clamp. Check it one more time. Six, six. Here's square. All right. I think it's time to get together. Just tack the two corners so it'll stay in place. Let's go. Good. Now, if it mattered that this stayed square, I would check it again with the square, but it doesn't. 
just it looks nicer if it's nice and good and square. And send our beans. And again, though it might be capable of that, we're not using it to chain the tractor down. It doesn't have to be ridiculously sturdy. I'm just going to fill in that crevice, do that on both ends, and then I'll start thinking about height. Okay. set it in the ring, for some reason I just, I like the height that's right up to this dovetail for that cup holder thing. So I'm going to use that as my reference. And I need let's call it nine and a half. That'll put it right about in the middle. Do nine and a half bottom, the bottom of the ring, yeah, it should just be able to cut the pieces to nine and a half, so, yeah, that's, right, yeah, yeah, it's really that simple. Safety squints engaged. hasn't caught on, I hope it's starting to take a shape now. It's maybe recognizable. Okay, if it wasn't taking shape before, should be now. There you go, you can kind of see what's going on. I added this rib since, well, a couple seconds ago for you. I added this one, I'm going to put another piece angle off of here, and that's how it's going to mount to the rear axle. And then it's going to be ready to clean up some corners and paint. That looks like that bead right there. Clean up some corners. And I might put a front brace on there, but I'm kind of thinking I don't need it right now. Alright, here we are, all done, painted. Got her all together, bolted onto the tractor. We are ready for half century of progress show in Rancho, Illinois. I might have to bump that wheel out just a little bit, but I think I've got a pretty sturdy place for a water cooler. But, like I said, I'm not going to be, you know, bolting the track, chaining the tractor down using this, or even really I'm not going to let somebody go right here. That would be a bad idea. I built this for that. I built that the night before the 2021 Half Century of Progress show, but you know, we're still on the trailer, chained down from the Ohio Valley Antique Machinery show, and getting ready to go to Rantoul on Saturday, because it's going to be really stinking hot on Friday, but the moral of the story here is just get out and freaking do it, man, do something. You're not, it, don't worry about it being perfect, this, this water cooler mount's far from perfect, not great welds, I mean, but 
you got to start somewhere, right? You, you got to. You've got to. You got to have somewhere to start from. You've got to. You're never going to get perfect at something if you don't start doing it and being not good at it. And if you worry about it being perfect, if you if you spend all your time trying to figure out how to make it perfect, sometimes you just got to stop it good enough. And for the purpose for what I'm trying to do. This is probably even better than good enough because in previous years we've just ratchet strapped it somewhere here on the super bowl. So start your craft, start your start weld, start learning how to weld, woodwork, whatever, man. Just do to do it. Do something. That's all, that's that's it. We'll, we'll have another video of the half century of progress show. We'll see you there. Um that's probably it. I guess uh, it's probably about time to get back to my day job anyway. Oh, and if you would, oh, make all this worth filming. I'm gonna do it. Any I'm gonna do this stuff anyway. But make it worth filming. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever.